What is going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and I know I've been away for a while, probably about a few weeks that I haven't made a video, but I am back um, and I'm going to be doing videos a day again. Um, I just got really, really overwhelmed with a lot of work. I had a lot of clients demanding things and my personal life demanding things, so I just took a little break from YouTube, but I am back and I am ready to start giving you amazing content again. So um, today what I wanna talk about is a new product that I found. Um, actually, they actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to check out this um, software that they were developing, so I said, sure, why not? So they actually um, cooked me up with an account and I wanna show you guys what it does. Very similar um, very similar to Ecom Hunt, I think it's a little better only because it's a little more detailed in what they offer you. So basically you're able to see products, you're able to see their targeting, you're able to see um, ads, you're able to see a description of the product, but it's a little more detailed than Ecom Hunt. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. It's called Ecom, Ecom Lad. So um, you can go there by going to ecomlad.com, but definitely click the link below because I believe we're gonna give you some type of Benefit, I'm not too sure yet, uh, but definitely click the link below. So once you um, click the link and you get an account, um, you can go to the products and they have different things. So they have different um, tiers that you can apply to, which will give you different um, access to different things. Uh, they have a Shopify section where they actually build you out a store and they have a marketing section where they actually help you out um, and tar for targeting and um, finding different audiences for your products. So once you go and make an account, you go to the product section and you can see here that it will list out the products depending on the account tier that you have. So I have uh, gold right now, I believe. So you can see I have silver gold products um, and then there's diamond products. But the cool thing about this is they still give you the name so you can probably go on AliExpress and um, go find that product. You don't really have to um, like if you click on it, it doesn't give you the information, I don't believe. However, you can still find the product by just searching the title in AliExpress. So once you um, log in and go to products, you'll see all these different products and you'll start getting ideas for your stores. Um, if you have a general store, there's a lot of different general products. Um, if you have a niche specific store, you can definitely find a product in your niche. So for starters, you can definitely um, click the, uh, on the right hand side you can click one of the categories here um, or you can just keep scrolling and then you know until you find something that matches what your store is or matches what your niche is um, but let's look at something pretty cool that I would think would sell pretty well so there's a lot of different products and they're always updating the products um, daily I believe or, or weekly but you can see here that it does give you, actually sold a lot of these, <laughs> the glowing unicorn, unicorn slippers. So let's actually look at this because it's actually a product that I've sold before in the past. Um, but you can see here that it gives you a little description or a little um, blurb of the product, of how many orders it, or how many orders the product has um, done. Um, but once you click on it, you can see that it gives you a little more detailed breakdown of what you can potentially sell this product at, the product cost, the shipping, the profit margin. Um, when I was selling this product, I actually sold it for about $30 as well. So this is actually right on um, the money when it comes to the price that you should sell it at. Um, you can see here that it also gives you CPA. CPA is cost per action, so how much it will take for that person to click on the um, add and potentially buy that product. So if you're spending two to four dollars on a cost per action, then you're going to be making twelve to fifteen dollars on average um, if you are going to sell this product. So you can see here it gives you a description. Um, you can actually look at the store selling it, the Amazon store that's selling it, or the eBay, which is also a really good technique because you can find different um, pictures, you can find different descriptions, different uh, price points, etc by looking at different stores, but also looking at Amazon and eBay as um, some different comparisons. Um, so if you keep scrolling down, it gives you the AliExpress um, general breakdown of how many orders, um, again, the product cost, product feedback, positive feedback, 98%. I guess this is for the specific vendor. So um, if you click this link, it only gives you one vendor. So if you were to want you know, different vendors, which is a good idea, you definitely want to um, go to AliExpress and find different vendors and kind of compare it to what they provide. 
It also gives you the geographic and the device. So this is actually really cool. And this is something that um, I don't believe, yeah, Ecom Hunt, I don't believe does this. Um, but it gives you a breakdown of what countries are more likely to buy your product. All right. Um, and I can tell you that when I was selling this, I believe I targeted, I think my top, top country sellers when I was selling this um, was the United States obviously, and I believe Germany, um, which is weird because Germany is like a country that a lot of people don't think to target, but it's a really huge player um, in terms of buying power. And it's one of those countries where I've had a lot of success in. Um, so for example, like I'll test an ad in the United States. And then if I um, test it in Germany and I see that Germans are commenting and um, saying different things, then I'll literally trans or transcript that ad into German so that I can have a more detailed targeting to that specific region. Um, and that has worked out really well for me, just kind of changing the ad copy to a specific language so that that country or that the people from that country can, re can relate more to your product. Um, so that's a really cool tip that you guys should be doing if you're targeting other countries and you have um, some success in different countries other than... Um, you know, United States or United Kingdom or Canada, those countries that speak a different language, it's really important to kind of cater to those people. Um, if you keep scrolling down, it gives you a um, Facebook ad, how many likes, reactions, comments, shares, ad post date, oh, I like this. So this is really, really important because there's a lot of ads on Facebook that um, are not current, right? They're not current to what people are doing not current to what the algorithm changes that um, Facebook is always implementing so you have to look at the ad post date now this ad was posted on May 8th this specific ad so if you click this link it should say May 8th um, which was about two weeks ago perfect so this is posted on May 8th 3 11 p.m. and you can see the copy here um, and if we click on Okay, there we go. So there you go. A lot of comments, a lot of people talking about, I have these, I want these for my granddaughters, all six of them. Hi, let's get matching ones. So you can see by the comments that people are really liking this product. Now this doesn't mean that this person is selling thousands of them, we don't know that, but we can get a good indicator that people are interested in, in this product because um, you know, it, there's interest there. Now I just saw something, and this is a really cool tip. I know I'm getting a little off track, but I want to I want to see this right here. This comment right here for Nelly LOL, but only nine dollars and forty cents on AliExpress. It's really important that on your Facebook pages that you include um, blockers or filters on those ads, so that people who say AliExpress or Ali or Alibaba or anything to that nature gets removed or will not um, be seen by other people. That's really important because. If someone sees that comment, they're gonna to go to AliExpress and they're gonna be like, okay, let me search for these unicorn slippers and then buy it there for cheaper. Where they're gonna get it for $9.40, where we're trying to get it for 30 and make a profit, they're just gonna go straight there, cut the middleman out and get that product for themselves. So it's really important to include filters. But back to Ecom Lab, um, I really like this ad post date because it gives you that um, clarity or that confirmation that this is something that is current, this is something that is working um in today's time and it's really important so they do give you some videos here as well and be careful with these videos guys make sure that um if you do use these videos uh kind of make it different to what they're doing because you can get um copyright infringement which will ultimately shut down your facebook page if someone reports it like if for example if this video came from somewhere else then and and someone else who made that video sees it then they can go to Facebook and say, this is copyright infringement. I want this page taken down. I want this video taken down. And then it kind of just defeats the purpose. So make sure that if you are using videos from a, um, a third party, to definitely kind of chop it up, make it your own, add your own music, add your own um, text, etc., so that it is different. All right, and then you can see the attachments of the different comments, which kind of gives you even more confirmation um, of the product itself. And then on the right-hand side, you can see targeting... Um, I like this hasn't been tested so they let you know that they haven't tested that so kind of gives you more leeway to t test different ideas um, but you can see here United States woman 18 to 54 260,000 
different behaviors, different interests. And this is called um, laser targeting, by the way, guys, if you don't know what that is. So basically, you are saying, I want this to, this targeting, this targeted person to have purchased a clothing or accessory, but also, and must have an interest in fashion, clothing, shoes, and must have an interest in unicorns, and must have a behavior as an engaged shopper. So laser targeting is something that I really use a lot in my targeting, um, just because it gives you more detailed and um, opportunity to get to that person you wanna sell to. And they give you some different targeting ideas. So this is one targeting batch, this is a second targeting batch, this is a third targeting batch. Um, and that's it. But it's a really, really good um, gateway to kind of get ideas for a product, get ideas for targeting, get ideas for um, copy. So one thing that I would do though here is for the targeting, I would definitely mi mix and match some of these interests and ideas. Um, and I don't know if I made a YouTube video on it, but basically what I do is a really, um, I guess you're just trial and error kind of thing. But I do different laser targeting segments and then I will mix and match different interests. I don't really use behaviors that much, but behaviors can work as well, but different interests. Um, and then I see which one is working well for me and then I scale that one. Um, that might not work depending on what you're selling, depending on your ad account, because again, Facebook is always changing their algorithm, but that what that's what typically works for me. So as you can see, Ecom Lad is something that you can use to really find really cool products that are selling that are current um, because they make sure to take the time out to find those current products. Um, so they have a lot of products, like I said, they're always updating weekly and you can kind of guarantee that these products are something that are being sold currently like today or something that's happened within the last month or two, which is something that I really like. Um, you can see here that this was posted five hours ago. This is a really cool product for the um, summer coming up. Um, but yeah, this is just something really, really unique and something that I think a lot of people should use when trying to find products because I think one of the important things for sh uh, Shopify or dropshipping, anything like that, you have to have a good product. If you do not have a good product, then it doesn't matter. If you have the best copy, the best video, it doesn't matter. You can't not have a good product and expect something to you know go 6x or make six figures it's, it's not it's not even realistic so always 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 take the time to find good products and this is something that can help you find good products really quickly um, like i said click the link below to definitely get um access to this um but let's actually go into pricing here um, just so you guys can see um, how much it's going to be for you. So they have a silver package. Like I said, the silver package is something that you're going to get. You're going to get less products, obviously. Um, so it's $1.95 for the first seven days and then $19.95 per month, which is not bad at all. And then the gold plan is $29.95 per month, which is not bad at all as well because, again, you're going to find products that you... Um, may not have found plus it takes down the time that you're doing product research it just helps you uh, really get those ideas down and then upload the product to your Shopify store so I think the gold is probably the best one diamond 79.95 and then diamond plus is 79.95 um, so that's this is a year so not a month so $800 a year um, so if you're pretty serious this might be something that you want to look into um, just because you won't have to worry about that monthly fee and you get all the diamond products plus um, some more stuff like oh no you get all that stuff too that's pretty cool alright cool um, but yeah so if you're you're pretty serious and you kind of want to um, do this full time then you probably would want to use the dime, the diamond plus plan so that you can not worry about Finding products, you just go to Ecom Lab and just quickly find the products that you want to sell. So those are the uh, pricing points. Um, if you go to the Shopify tab, yeah. So this is where I was talking about. They will, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they will build out a Shopify store for you, depending on where you're at, um, and then they'll manage it for you as well, which is really cool. 
Um, and then I believe the marketing virtual assistant is basically um, giving you the Facebook custom marketing, email custom marketing, and personalized project. So these are just some different things you get to look at, but I really recommend checking out the, um, the products on Ecom Lab and so you can get some ideas. Um, and let me know if you guys try this out. Let me know in the comments below if you um, actually sign up and you actually try it out. I really think that it's a great investment. I don't think it's something that, like if you're gonna spend $30 a month and you have the potential to make 500, then I mean, that's that seems like a good deal to me, right? Um, so definitely go to Ecom Lab, just check, uh, click the link below to definitely uh, try it out and see if you like it. You can try it out for seven days and then upgrade if you'd like, um, just to get some ideas down. But it's definitely a time saver. It's definitely something that you want to look into to save you time, but also to give you some ideas for your Shopify stories if you're struggling to find products, which is something that a lot of people don't understand that you have to have a great product in order to be a successful dropshipper. So let me know um, if you try this out in the comments below. Let me know if you like this video by giving, giving me a like. If you have any more suggestions for videos in the future, definitely leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe so that you can see more future content like this. Definitely more reviews of different software projects. I have an interview with one of um, a top Shopify app owner coming up soon. Hopefully, I just got to get his schedule down because he's really busy. Um, so that's going to be fun. But definitely uh, subscribe and hit that little alert button so that you know when I uh, post a video. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.